Welcome back to America's Retirement Headquarters, home of the Retirement Guys Formula and America's Medicare Associates with Nolan Baker and Jeremy Baker. 419-794-3030 is the phone number. The website, ARHQ.com. Don't forget, if you missed the first half of the show or you just want to catch up on previous editions of the show, other topics that we've covered through the history of the show, honestly, all available for you on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you consume your media. Just search for America's Retirement Headquarters. They're all there for you to uh, digest at, at your leisure. Now, we've mentioned a couple times today on the show and, and throughout the history of the show about annuities and how, uh, you know, it could be a four-letter word in some circles. Do they have an awareness problem? In a recent study, uh, found that more than half of consumers, they're quite frankly uncertain about annuities, but when they were presented as income rather than an investment, you know, people actually came around. They warmed up to the idea. How do you help investors actually understand uh, annuities? I know, Jeremy, when I talk to a lot of people, annuities are kind of a confusing topic. Uh, I'm not sure when you go and you talk with people, you know, is there a way that you kind of break it down in simple terms for folks? Well, there's, I think annuities and simple aren't necessarily two words that are used in the same sentence, but it, it can be broken down simply for folks. You know, there's essentially three different types of annuities. You have fixed, you have index, and you have variables, and... Within those, there's some complexities about them, but uh, I think when you look at annuities, if like Chris said, if you look at it as a as an income source, it's a little bit easier to understand. Um, sometimes we become like victims of using too much jargon, and people don't understand it. So we kind of want to break break down the complexities of an annuity within simple terms and how they work. Yeah, so really, again, it's, again, in simple terms, when you look at the word annuity, it's a contract between an insurance company and the annuitant or an owner. And there's three different types that you can have. You can have a fixed annuity, you can have an index annuity, and you can have a variable annuity. And each of those work different. A fixed annuity is a contract that is going to pay the uh, annuitant or account owner a fixed rate of return for a set period of time. So you could buy a three-year fixed account, five-year, seven-year, 10-year. An indexed account is an account that is going to allow you to participate when an underlying index is positive, but again, is going to protect you against losses when that underlying index is negative. And then a, a variable annuity is one of the ones that uh, typically goes up when the markets go up and has the ability to go down when the markets go down. And so with a variable annuity in some of these contracts, you can also, you know, add in different riders that provide, you know, things like an income or long-term care or a death benefit. And I think, Jeremy, as you pointed out, that's where some of these annuities, they become confusing for a lot of reasons. And confusing because sometimes even the agents who sell them don't understand them and educate, you know, consumers on the pros and cons because there absolutely is pros and cons to any financial product that's out there. As you talked about, you know, there is complexity. So, you know, the different structures between fixed, variable, immediate, deferred, and index are just, you know, one of the ways that you need to understand that. There's jargon that we use here, you know, in the insurance industry, things like the term annuitization or surrender charges or death benefit. You know, the average consumer sometimes really doesn't understand what that means. Uh, fees and expenses is a big one that I get. A lot of people say, you know, Nolan, I heard those annuities are expensive. And that's not always true. Oftentimes, when you're looking at fees and expenses, there are different fees and expenses that you want to consider. For me personally, I think the lion's share of the fees and expenses will come into the contracts that are the variable because they have administrative fees, they could have mortality expenses, and investment management fees. But when you look at a fixed annuity or a indexed annuity, uh, you can get those contracts with no fees. There's a lot of companies that offer those, and so you don't have those fees and expenses that eat into the potential return that can make it challenging for the real value of the annuity. Um, some of them have a, a longer-term commitment. So we, you know, when we think about, you talked about having the importance of a, a savings account or money market account, things that are liquid, a great idea, right? You need to have an emergency account. You need to have money that's set aside, and sometimes bank CDs are good for that six month or one year or two year or three year, you can get an annuity account that, you know, could be as long as 10 years. And that can be a good and bad thing, again, as long as you understand the commitment. And it's a commitment both ways. So as Judge Judy talks about, it's a contract, right? 
You know, I have seen insurance contracts right now that offer the highest rate on a fixed contract with no fee that I've seen since my children have been born, and I have a 20-year-old. And what you have the ability to do is you have the ability that the insurance company has a commitment to pay you that fixed rate for that number of years. You can lock in today's rates for 10 years if you want, and the insurance company has a commitment. But just the same as you have a commitment back to them, meaning that you need to understand what the withdrawal provisions are and need to understand you know, what are surrender charges and if you take money out early, what the penalty could be. No different than if you take a CD out, you have some type of time frame commitment, and you also need to understand what the penalty is as well. So it's all about education. To me, it's all about making sure that you have transparency you know, and understanding. When you, when you have a 400-page a prospectus, it is challenging that's out there. It's challenging to understand, you know, how taxes work on annuities versus savings account. You know, really to address these challenges, what I would encourage you to do is if you have an annuity, there could be an opportunity for us to maybe refinance or upgrade your contract. So what we're seeing is that because of how fast interest rates have gone up in the last year. Annuity contracts that are three, five, seven, or 10 years old, a lot of seniors and retirees have these old contracts that are sitting around. They may be able to do something different, upgrade their contract. You maybe have uh, an old variable annuity contract that you're paying all these excess fees and expenses and you know have no need for the income rider. You know, maybe you can take and get rid of those. And you know that's what we're happy to do for our radio show listeners. If you want to understand the pros and cons of an annuity and see if this is an option that's right for you, or if you have an old annuity and you want an independent analysis of that and get some feedback so we can take what can be complex and break it down into simple terms, all you got to do is pick up the phone, give us a call. We'd be happy to walk you through exactly what an annuity is for you in simple terms. I think if you've gone on... Okay. Oh. Good. Just to uh, kind of back up the simplicity thing, I think most investments have what I call gimmies and gotchas. So, you know, you might be paying for something while you get something. And I think annuities, there's no right, there's no one way for each investor. Everybody has their unique situation. And, you know, you should really take a look at what your situation is and uh, adjust accordingly. Because annuities, truth be told, aren't going to be right for everybody out there, and they certainly don't need to be the entirety of your retirement plan, but it could be a valuable part of a retirement strategy. Maybe you've heard things, you've seen things online about them that, that puts them in a bad light. Bring that to the conversation. Sit down and speak with the team at America's Retirement Headquarters. Let them educate you, help you at the end of the day make the most informed decision, and if you decide that is something that you want to pursue and include in your retirement plan, figure out what's going to work best for you. 419-794-3030 is that phone number. Once again, 419-794-3030.